Morning guys, I hope you had a really good weekend. And I'm sure if you're like me, you enjoyed the, the three day week last week. Um, I'm very, very proud of you. Your teachers have been telling me um, lots of good things about your online learning. Uh, we had an attendance record of 99% to 100% last week, which means you really are focusing and getting ready this term. Um, it looks like the lockdown is going to carry on for a little bit longer. And so I just want to encourage you, keep up the good work. Uh, you don't have that teacher to tap you on the shoulder to do work, uh, but just get going and, and keep it up so that you can do well in these exams coming up in three weeks time. Uh, on Friday, I'm sure you all enjoyed being out and about for the couple of hours we had for uh, exercise. Um, I know there were lots and lots of people around the streets walking and we were really, really blessed with some wonderful weather. Um, that just reminds me of uh, Mr. Kitch and his great tens who put together uh, a little video to talk about Earth Day, which happened about a week and a half ago. So let's have a look and see what's going on. Now don't it always seem to go That you don't know what you got till it's gone
What even is Earth Day? What even is Earth Day? Every year, the United States and over 100 different countries throughout the world join together in celebration of Earth Day on April 22nd, a worldwide commemoration of the environment and a day to promise to protect it. Earth Day marks the anniversary of the day where 20 million Americans demonstrated for a healthy and sustainable environment. Coast-to-coast -coast rallies were organized and groups that had been protesting toxic dumps, pesticides, the loss of wilderness, the extinction of wildlife, oil spills, and other ecological issues finally realized they were all trying to fight the same battle. The unique aspect of Earth Day 1970 was that it brought together Republicans Republicans and Democrats, rich and poor, and people with seemingly different beliefs and backgrounds. In short, Earth Day 1970 began the environmental awareness campaign that continues today. The day led to the creation of the United States Environmental Protection Agency. For Earth Day's 20th anniversary, a worldwide campaign was launched, mobilizing 200 million people in 141 countries. Environmental groups use Earth Day as an occasion to draw attention to current local and global environmental problems and to discuss common sense solutions. A highlight of the annual Earth Day ceremony at the United Nations is the ringing of the peace bell that was given to the UN by Japan. The passage of the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, and the Endangered Species Act are considered to be products of the 1970 Earth Day. So do your part for the Earth by reducing, reusing, and recycling. Good day, Redham House. This year for Earth Day, we want to focus on pollution. The world is riddled with many issues at the moment, but pollution is a major issue that is often overlooked or even forgotten. In 2018, National Geographic set out to make a difference with their Planet or Plastic campaign. Planet or Plastic takes a comprehensive approach to tackling major environmental crises, encompassing storytelling, consumer education and engagement, scientific research and innovative partnerships. The advertising for this campaign, as seen on the left, really impacted me. For me, it was so clever However simple it was, it highlighted a huge underlying issue that we were facing. For me, it brought the memory back of the Titanic. Again, were we going to react too late to do anything? Are we going to continue to make the same mistakes? Are we going to sink like the Titanic again? At the end of this video, you'll be presented with the opportunity to take part in this initiative by taking the Planet or Plastic Pledge. Today, I challenge you to have a look at the pledge and to make a difference. The world doesn't care enough about pollution. We think of pollution as an environmental issue. We do not think of pollution as a health issue. It kills more people than war, than hunger, than malaria or AIDS or tuberculosis. All of these pale in comparison. In 2015, pollution-related diseases accounted for 9.6 million deaths. 92% of that burden is in low and middle income countries. That is big for us. It's big in terms of the distribution of the problem. To put it in plain speak, the distribution is unfair. It's not been on the public radar because there's been a lack of understanding of just how endemic this problem is and how many people are impacted. It's been forgotten.
let's never forget the impact that we have had. And now, here we have nine tips for living with less plastic presented by our Redham students. Uh, plastic? <laughs> um, no, um, I, I brought my own. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> These plastics are made up of harmful chemicals, are difficult to recycle, and take hundreds of years to decompose. That's why, for my leftovers, I use a glass jar or any other reusable container. Hey, do you know how you can use less plastic? Hi, do you know how you can save the world by using less plastic? Save the world! Use less plastic! We are heroes tonight We will fly above the sky Brick. So an eco brick is basically a, a two liter or one liter bottle uh, that it's filled up with items that cannot be recycled. So things like your soft plastics, um, you know, the packaging that you get your medicine in, that sort of thing can go in here. Cut it up small and put it in and make sure you start hard at the bottom and um, push everything down and into it and then uh, you'll see, you'll fit so much in there, honestly. Um, yeah, thanks. Hey guys, please don't forget to collect your bottle caps and place them in a plastic bag as well as making an eco brick. All you need is a stick and a two litre bottle as well as the plastic that you have collected. Dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals, life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. And understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. So Rhythm House, I challenge you, get involved, make a change, and take the Planet or Plastic Pledge. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. <laughs>